Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live attack video. <clears throat> this is going to be a friendly challenge. Um, I know you guys like seeing the actual war attacks, and I am going to be in the... Actually, I shouldn't say I am. I signed up for the arranged war this weekend. Hopefully, I'll be able to fit the roster, and you guys might see a live attack from, uh, from the Dark Looters War this weekend. So, um... You can be looking forward to that, um, assuming I get in the war and I'm able to record the attack, which uh, hopefully both things will happen. Uh, but for now, we have a uh, live attack on this base. Shout out to OAS, always for the base. Um, really appreciate it. Let's take a look at the base and the plan. Um, basically, I'm doing a Laloon. I want to try that out, uh, kind of work on that, because that's the meta at Town Hall 10 right now. The plan is going to drop down a... Uh, like a Valk right here, try to take out these two buildings, maybe a wizard behind if I need to, uh, baby dragon up here, drop down the queen, uh, let her take out that builder's hut, I'll drop her like right here, she'll take out the builder's hut, step up, um, take out these three buildings, I'll drop the wall breakers in right here, and she should step up and kind of target the archer tower, come inside here, take out the inferno, start making her way south, at which point I'll poison the CC and the queen. I have two rages for her, plus her ability, of course. Um, so should get that stuff taken out. As she continues south, once she's taken out the CC troops and that stuff, um, well, at the beginning of the attack, I'll have a minion or two right here uh, to get some of those buildings taken out. I'll drop a, another Valk there, my king, wall breaker in here, and then send like two or three extra Valks, whatever I have left, like two Valks and the King, uh, go in here, try to get this uh, air defense taken out. And then from there, the plan is just to drop down my lo first Lava Hound. I have two Lava Hounds, so kind of scarce, um, but I wanted to bring as many balloons as possible. So drop down the Lava Hound <clears throat> and the balloon there. Another balloon probably, like three here. I will go ahead and drop a haste for these ones to get them moving as quickly as possible. I might do four here just to get in there because they will be going to the Inferno Tower next, hopefully. If all this gets taken out right, they should go into the Inferno. I have a freeze for the Inferno. Um, probably will just freeze the Wizard Tower too if it's still up like that. Uh, the Queen hopefully will kind of like step up in here and go through the wall. That would be ideal, but who knows what she'll do. Um, hopefully she'll still be alive at least. And then I'll just have a second Lava Hound here, sprinkle some more balloons. I have a few haste, probably one rage, and then the, that freeze I talked about. Um, so I'll send, you know, the balloons in and hopefully something should converge on this last air defense to get it taken out. But that's basically the plan in a nutshell. Um, one of the good things about doing this is I have the, you know, ability to attack this base multiple times. So if there's like one thing that went wrong, I can be like, okay, I can make this fix. But let's make sure I have everything. Got the five Valks, 13 balloons, uh, the one of my own Lava Hound, the CC is good, the spells... Uh, looking good. I've got all the wall breakers. Um, just don't want to forget anything. But it looks like I have it all taken care of. We can go ahead and try this base. Okay. I'll let OAS know I'm going in. And uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Alright, so we'll start off with the minions down here. We'll go like minion... That should be all we need. All right, let's get the Valk right here. Um, we're gonna need that wizard probably. Baby dragon. Okay, good, no seeking air mine. There's the queen and her healers. Tesla, all right, that's kind of a free Tesla, I guess. Get these wall breakers ready. <clears throat> all right, step on up. Snuck those wall breakers in. That was good. Going to have to use the queen's ability, which I'm not a huge fan of. Or will I? Yeah, I'm going to have to use it here. Get it raged going. Get these poisons. Come on, queen. I need you up. Stay up. There's a few Valks and stuff in there. Is she going to stay up? Take that out, take that out. Alright, she's looking okay. Valk. King. One, two, three, four. 
There's everything going in there. Builder's head. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, King, just make your way on in. Pop his ability. And get the Lava Hound ready to go. Do the max one first. Boom. Get a haste down. Get this frozen. Next Lava Hound ready. Rage. Haste. Another Rage. Are we doing a fresh three, guys? I think we might. Minion up there. Archer here. Let's get something on the uh, storage. I think this is going to be a fresh three. Um, things just worked out perfectly, basically. I guess I'll just end it here. I, I mean, I was thinking I'm going to have to do a few tries, but this is going to be a short video. We'll take a look at the replay, talk it through, because I wasn't able to narrate that much. But um, yeah, La Lune is pretty powerful, and hopefully this kind of makes up for the attack strategy video that I bailed on. I talked about making a Town Hall 10 Bow La Lune attack strategy. Didn't really get around to it. This one isn't exactly, doesn't use the bowlers, but any kind of La Lune attack right now is pretty powerful. This base not being max obviously but still a solid upgraded base um <laughs> so rip to oas's base and uh yeah that's it might be kind of an old meta base i, I mean this is one of the ones he was okay with me showing on youtube so it's probably not going to be the most current base but i think this is a proof of concept and uh let's go ahead and take a look at the replay uh, see how it went and just kind of talk through it. But I think it went pretty well for the most part. It was just perfect. There was a Tesla farm right next to that Inferno and I had the freeze. So I was even thinking, you know, is it worth bringing a freeze? Because all I can really freeze is the Inferno and maybe like the Wizard Tower. I don't think the air defense right here is close enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. So um, I couldn't get a lot of value for it, but being able to freeze all those Teslas was definitely um, a bonus there. So take out, took out that first Tesla just with the Queen. That worked out nicely. The Valken the Wizard, definitely worth it. The reason I took this building out is because I didn't want my Queen to head that way. As soon as she stepped up for this cannon, I wanted the next building to be the Archer Tower. That way, <clears throat> sorry about that, that way she goes into the base and... It's that was pretty important. I mean, we can't have her walking around the outside. Need to get that inferno t tower taken out. Uh, right here, I had to use the ability. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to use it or not, but I did, which made me a little bit nervous. The CC um, had a Valk and a baby dragon, which are pretty tough troops. But the queen went down, and I think there was only well, there was two point defense on her. But the five healers was able to keep her up. The fifth healer can make a big difference, especially when you don't have the ability. It's nice having those five raged healers. The point defense defense is I don't think quite maxed the, the expos aren't the cannons might be so a little less than uh, max point defense there um, yeah it looks like Oras is building a new base anyway uh, but the queen steps up takes out that expo the king and the valks making their way on in here uh, plenty of uh, firepower to get in there get that air defense taken out get the skellies too um, this guy had ground skellies so uh, that kind of helped I guess no nothing for my balloons to contend with but right here um that first lava hound goes in and it goes down pretty darn quickly the I think that was a freeze trap that actually froze my lava hound not that it really mattered because they don't do damage anyway they just have to be there the second lava hound comes in though like I said that freeze spell got great value it froze the teslas then I had that rage to kind of help uh get in there get the inferno get this air defense um, the last few balloons coming up top with that haste to keep them moving, but the star of the show is that main group of balloons that made their way through the base. I dropped, uh, you know, heavy balloons initially, four balloons on the uh, wizard tower, I think, and like three on the... Um, the, the initial archer tower like on these two initial defenses so I wanted to really go heavy and those balloons got great value they stayed up pretty much the entire attack with the help of the lava hounds tanking so um, hope you guys like the video and I know it's not as good as a actual war attack but who knows maybe we'll see something against dark looters one of the top clans in CWL right now I'm not exactly sure what the league is we're back in some kind of league I can't keep track of it anymore um, maybe I'll I'll be sure to let you guys know by the time that war comes around what exactly is going on. But I think uh, CWL is either over and be revamped for Season 2 
or there's some kind of situation Genesis is back in. Honestly, I haven't been paying much attention lately. Just finished the college apps. But uh, thanks for watching this video, like I said. And uh, hopefully you Town Hall 10s can take some, uh, some tips from this video and go use uh, your own Laloon attacks to get those three stars. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.